How to install Oxygen OS 11 based on Android 11 from the OnePlus 9R on the POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Oxygen OS 11 from the OnePlus 9R based on Android 11 on your POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you also need access to a computer. And no, you cannot flash this ROM from a custom recovery at the time of recording this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because the process is going to wipe out all your data and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. Another super important prerequisite is that you should be coming from Xiaomi EU and that is what the developer recommends and that is what we are going to do in this video. Now we are not going to cover how to install Xiaomi EU because we do have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of this video. And on your computer you do need to have the drivers installed and again the video on how to install drivers in case fast boot devices does not work for you is linked in the description of this video and one last thing before we get down to business do note i have the international variant of the xiaomi mi 11x which is known as the poco f3 but the process will work even if you have the chinese variant which is redmi k40 or if you have the indian variant which is the xiaomi mi 11x so here it is i do have the poco f3 which right now is running miui 12.5.4 but this is xiaomi eu next up we will go into settings and then you can go into password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing we need to do is we need to boot into fast boot mode so first of all turn off your device and once the device has turned off we need to press and hold power and volume down press and hold power and volume down till you see this logo so this is the fast boot logo for xiaomi or redmi or poco and at this point we need to connect the usb cable so that we can connect our phone to the computer so here we are on the computer and this here is the oxygen os 11 file for the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k 40 and of course the phone is connected to the computer in fast boot mode now this here is a zip file which you need to unzip you can use any software which you want to i am using winrar and unzipping this is as easy as right click on it and then say extract to oos or whatever the file name is i have already extracted it and once you have extracted this you will get a new folder if you go inside this folder here and you have your linux tools win tools boot dtb or basically all the files which you need first of all let us go into win tools and then you can tap on the address bar everything will be highlighted here and type in cmd this is going to open up the command prompt let us first go ahead and check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not and the command for that is fast boot boot space devices once you have entered the command go ahead and press the enter key and as you can see my device is being detected in fast boot mode next thing we need to do is we can go back to the main folder where you have your linux tools win tools and all the other files which you need and now installation is as easy as double clicking on this file do note this is a windows batch file and if you have extensions enabled it might show up as dot bat extension and and do note during the installation process your phone will reboot and it might reboot multiple times all you need to do is have some patience so next up let us go ahead and double click on this file and there it is you can see vb meta was flashed without any errors we did get a failed to write that can be ignored and now it is sending boot underscore ab your phone should have 
rebooted once and now it should have rebooted one more time and once it is back you will get this message about invalid sparse file format at header magic no need to worry no need to panic everything is absolutely fine this is something which is totally expected and as i mentioned earlier in the video have some patience and pretty soon it is going to start flashing the super partition and there it is you can see we are now flashing the super partition we are at sending sparse super one of eight do note flashing the super partition will also take some time so you have to be patient all right so we are at super eight of eight and you can see the times and seconds on your screen right now for the different partitions or the different sub parts of the super partition 290 seconds and again this might depend on the speed of your computer ssd a lot of other factors and do note it is not done right now please wait until you get a specific message that the process has finished successfully right now it is flashing something else as well or it might be doing a data wipe so this finished does not mean anything do not and i repeat do not disconnect your phone from the computer at this point please be patient and disconnect if and when the utility or the tool tells you to do so all right so as you can see it did take some time and now we are getting a message of press any key to exit and the phone rebooted and this is the point at which you can disconnect your phone from the computer do note you might be stuck at the poco logo in fact no we do have the oxygen os boot animation on our device and let us hope we do boot into the oxygen os 11 rom all right so it did take a few minutes but we have booted into the rom and this here is the setup screen and just to prove i'm not faking this here is in fact the poco f3 and let me go ahead and skip the initial setup real quick now another important thing before i forget is that if you get into a boot loop on the boot animation for say like more than five minutes what do you do then in that case all you need to do is press and hold the power and volume up button while you are at the boot animation or while you are stuck in the boot loop and once you feel the vibration you can let go of the power button and you should boot into twrp recovery here and you can go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right of the keyboard do note format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device and once format data is done all you need to do is reboot and then select system and after a few minutes you should boot into oxygen os 11 based on android 11 on the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k 40 all righty there it is we have successfully booted into the rom let us go into settings we can go into about phone this of course is a port from the oneplus 9r so about phone android version of course is 11 security patch is from july 2021 and there it is peeps that is how you install the oxygen os 11 rom on the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.